With new ballot drop boxes and constitutional amendments appearing for the first time in Wisconsin history on a primary ballot, there's a lot to keep track of this month. Our State Capitol Bureau Chief Vanessa Kelson breaks down how you can vote in the primary. Not sure where to vote? Just go to myvote.wi.gov. There you can put in your address and find your nearest polling location as well as what's on your ballot based on where you live. Your polling location may have changed. Your ward number may have changed um, just because of those new maps from the, the state Senate and the state assembly. Lisa Tolfson, the clerk for Rock County, says to remember to bring your photo ID to the ballot box. If they're not registered, they will also need to bring proof of residence to register to vote. And you can register to vote on Election Day. In a partisan primary, you have to pick one party and can only vote for candidates in that party. If you don't choose a party and you vote for candidates in more than one party, none of your votes will count. Election day is August 13th, but you don't have to wait till then to vote. You can request an absentee ballot until August 8th. While that is the correct statutory deadline, we do um, recommend that voters, if they are mailing back their absentee ballot, are mailing it a week ahead of the election. With the recent state Supreme Court ruling, some cities like Madison are still working on getting their ballot drop boxes back up and operational. That option may not be available in every municipality. It is up to the municipal clerk to decide whether they would like to uh, utilize the secure drop box. If you're in line at the polls by 8 p.m. on Election Day, you are still allowed to vote. In Madison, Vanessa Kelson.